Hello, do you have a minute to talk about our Lord and Savior? Please, whatever my husband did, whatever this is, we can make it right. What he did? Ma'am, your husband did something that can't be made right. He bothered me. Mm. What have we here? Don't touch her. Put it down. Oh, Lord, what the hell happened here? A clown and a monster with wings did this. Wake up, boy. This is your stop. They're going to take good care of you here at Arkham. If you like the action you've seen so far, don't forget to like it, subscribe to support our efforts, and ring the bell to receive notifications about the latest episodes. Even though these are small clicks for you, they are great sources of motivation for us. Enjoy watching. Hang on, Master Wayne. We're almost home. It's going to be all right. This is becoming untenable, sir. The long hours were one thing, but risking your life to stop some bank robbers or... It was the Joker, Alfred. Well, I don't think being killed by a man pretending to be a clown is any more noble a calling. He murdered a couple tonight in front of their boy. I chased him, but it was a trap. Good Lord. Master Wayne, for the last time I am imploring you to go to the hospital. You've been doing this for months now and I am not an adequate substitute. I can't. I have to find the boy. Good morning, sir. I brought you breakfast. I deemed it wise for you to sleep in. But of course, when I went to check on you, what did I find? I'm not wise or hungry. That's probably the concussion talking, or the exhaustion, or the blood loss. You're bleeding. That's the nice thing about sleep. Besides being necessary to live, it prevents you from doing things that tear open your stitches. That's the nice thing about stitches. You can always get more. After you finish, can you get the Navy Brooks Brothers suit, my checkbook, and some cover-up for my face? I suppose it's too much to hope that last night made you rethink this and you're going out to meet a young lady? As a matter of fact. Do you remember anything else about the scary man? The first one was a clown, but he wasn't funny. First? Was there another man? Was he with someone? Yes. The police report said it was only... Wait, do you mean the Batman? I don't know. Big wings, pointy ears. Can I go to the bathroom? Fine, yes. End of the hall and make a right. You know the difference between your right and left, don't you? Yes. Fascinating. He can't discern relationship cues between costumed characters. This is wonderful. It was quite generous of you. I don't know how we could ever repay you. You can start by hiring someone to clean these floors. Ha! Huh? How droll! Well, the boy should be right in here with Dr. Quinzel. I'm sure he'll be thrilled to see a friendly face. You lost, little boy. We're quite lucky to have Dr. Quinzel here as our visiting psychologist. She's young, but she's one of the leading experts in the emerging field of costumed crime. The Joker, the Riddler, the Batman. She may just be the cure to all the monsters that have suddenly become such a plague on our great city. Lovely to meet you, Doctor. And you're also an expert in childhood trauma. No, not at all. But we all agreed that the boy was an excellent opportunity to study the effects of delusional people on impressionable minds. So you're not actually trying to help him? I'm sorry, who are you? In addition to giving us a very generous donation today, Mr. Wayne, here runs the Martha Wayne Foundation, which seeks to provide communal homes for disadvantaged youth. He came to inform us that a new facility was just purchased, and there is now room for our little guest. Where is he? He went to the bathroom right before you arrived. You probably walked right past him. Is it normal procedure to let a child wander your facility alone, Dr. Arkham? Bathroom is on the right, Mr. Wayne. Are these footprints? It's okay, we're just having a little fun. Stay back, Clayface. Oh! Hey, take it easy, I wasn't gonna hurt him. Damn it, he peed himself. It's not his fault. He just got a little scared when he saw me. I have that effect on people sometimes. Shut your mouth, monster. You're okay. And everyone else is going to remain calm, correct? I'm perfectly calm, Suit. But you can tell them if they call me monster again. They'll see it's not just little boys I can make soil themselves. I'm taking you out of here. Back to your cell, monster.
I've arranged a new place for you to live, okay? It's a special place for boys and girls like you. You'll be safe there. I promise.